all right, tell me about the Zoriax grid engine. What are the origins of the product? Uh, where did it come from? Zoriax, the grid, Zoriax grid engine actually started off uh, from another product uh, called Incredible, which actually used the grid technology, I believe, before uh, the name grid technology was around. Uh, but it did use grid technology and virtualization technology to speed up software code build. And the idea was to accelerate uh, code builds for developer workstations and build servers using grid technology and get rid of the, of the build bottleneck. And we've been um, doing that fairly successfully for, for uh, seven, eight years. Um, and the technology, the grid technology behind Incredibles gradually matured into what is today the Zoriac grid engine. So by uh, eventually we realized that the same technology was mature enough to uh, accelerate other um, computational intensive tasks with the same uh, underlying platform. And that's how Zorex Grid Engine uh, evolved out of Incredibles. Okay, so coming from HPC, when I think of Grid Engine, I think of the old uh, uh, Sun Grid Engine as a resource broker. How does the Zoriax Grid Engine differ from that? Right, so it, it obviously uh, includes a resource broker type functionality and that's um, an important part of the technology but uh, I would say it's not the most innovative part of our technology. Um, the grid engine includes three major components I would say. One would be the resource broker uh, component. The other and I think that's where uh, the most uh, interesting portion of the technology is, is the very special approach that XGE has to virtualization. And uh, here we use a term that we call process level virtualization to sort of take the best of two worlds, uh, the cluster computing world <coughs> and the conventional grid slash virtualization world to allow um, very, very effective utilization of um, practically any available computing power in the local network and use that uh, in um, a way that would allow you to very, very easily virtualize uh, your environment and uh, very, very easily deploy your application to a grid environment. Uh, and we, uh, we do that using process level virtualization. The third component is uh, our uh, APIs or our ability to our um, methodology for migrating highly computational applications to the grid environment and doing that without requiring you to change your code in order to that environment. So that's three very significant statements in, in, in one long sentence. Sure. Uh, but that's what XG is about. Okay, so let's double click on that a little bit. Uh, you know, when I think of virtualization, I think of things that might run maybe not so fast in, you know, in a virtualized space. How does Zoriax work with virtualization? Right, so um, with process level virtualization, the idea is that um, regardless of whether you're using dedicated strong servers uh, as nodes in your compute farms or just the idle CPU cycles of a user workstation that's manned and that's being used, um, any process that's running on any of the nodes on the grid runs in a special virtualized environment that's implemented as a, an operating level process. And that runs alongside the other uh, processes that are being used by the user. And uh, each does not have any contact with between the virtualized process and the host environment. So you could be using your uh, machine, your PC, and writing a word processing document using MS Word or something like that. And your machine would be contribu contributing its idle CPU power to a special black box process running that's running an application that might not even be installed on your machine. It's completely virtualized and it's emulating uh, the runtime environment that's available on another machine that initiated the distributed process. So um, essentially you're um, using a completely new type of virtualization that allows you to uh, very, very easily deploy a highly complex grid environment using existing hardware and without requiring you to maintain any virtualization environment in terms of virtualization software, dedicated servers, and so on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So, uh, well, I think you mentioned it uses real-time compression, uh, the Zorax grid engine. So, doesn't compression incur processor overhead and slow things down? Well, it might. Uh, our emphasis with XGE is really about making grid technology accessible to uh, as, as many types of applications there are. Mm -hmm. uh, we do that both in allowing an extremely easy approach to migrating existing software to a grid environment, accelerating using, using our technology. Typically, you could implement a proof of concept within hours instead of months of work, which is a very, very serious claim here. And uh, uh, this is possible because we don't require you to change your code using your API. Um, and the, um, the other level in which we achieve this is uh, we do everything possible, including uh, real-time compression and intelligent caching and other techniques to allow you to reach HPC level or near HPC level capabilities using your existing hardware, your existing local network, um, and achieve uh, very substantially uh, accelerated software if using just these resources. <laughs> okay, so your product is strictly a Windows uh, environment type, it is, correct? Okay, so um, Microsoft recently kind of de-emphasized HPC server for 2008, right, and moved all the resources over to Azure. How does that figure in your strategy? Um, well, it's an interesting move, definitely, and, and uh, I think we, we have yet to see how the market will react to that move. I know that there's organizations, and I think uh, very justifiably, are showing some level of reluctance to moving their computationally intensive processes, which can sometimes be very uh, sensitive in terms of the information and the algorithmics involved, uh, to the wrong side of the firewall, if you like to term that, and, and we're seeing that reluctance over and over again. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's the, 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 the increased overhead of using WAN-based solutions over LAN-based solutions, um, uh, which, which needs no, no additional explanation. So um, we're, uh, uh, we think that, to put it very simply, organizations do have the required computing power uh, to solve most, if not all, of their computational needs. They just don't have the technology to tap into that, pow on into that uh, computing power. And XG is about tapping into that computing power and doing that really, really easily. Um, and I think we have yet to see how the market will react to the choice between WAN and LAN for, uh, HPC, for HPC projects. So while we're talking about networks, how important is a, a high bandwidth, low latency network to the effectiveness of, of the product? Well, it, it, it obviously is uh, more important the more data bound your process is. Uh, with XGE, our focus is more on CPU intensive um, uh, processes rather than big data type uh, of projects. So. Uh, that's why we invested a lot in technologies like real-time compression and intelligent caching to um, uh, make that uh, level of performance relevant, accessible to the type of problems we're seeing. Mm 